We begin today's show in Tennessee, where the Shelby County Board of Commissioners voted unanimously Wednesday to reappoint Justin Pearson to the Tennessee House of Representatives less than a week after the Republican-led House voted to expel him and Justin Jones from the body for joining peaceful protests against gun violence after the Nashville school massacre. Pearson and Jones were the two youngest black lawmakers in the Tennessee House. The Nashville Metropolitan Council unanimously voted Monday to restore Justin Jones to office as well. Pearson's being sworn back in this morning. Both men will hold the seats until a special election is held. On Wednesday, Pearson and Jones took part in a rally in Memphis with Gloria Johnson, a white lawmaker who narrowly survived the expulsion vote last week. Together, they've become known as the Tennessee Three. This is Justin Pearson addressing a massive crowd of supporters outside the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, where Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. 55 years ago. Show me what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is the democracy that is going to transform a broken nation and a broken state into the place that God calls for it to be. This is the democracy that will bring people from the back. People who've been pushed to the periphery. Yeah. That is going to transform our nation. Yeah. This is a democracy that's going to lift up the victims of gun violence yeah. instead of supporting the NRA and the gun lobbyists. Yeah. This is the democracy that they're scared of. Yeah. This is the democracy that they're worried about yeah. because this is the democracy that changes the status quo. Yeah. This is the democracy that changes the status quo. Yeah. But we've got news. The status quo needs changing. Yeah. Justin Pearson speaking Wednesday at a Memphis rally, where he was joined by Tennessee Representative Gloria Johnson. We need to lift up these amazing voices of these young people. We need a multiracial, multigenerational organization in the Tennessee legislature, and these young voices are critical. And thank you. We need to welcome these not young voices and not keep them down. Because these young people are passionate, they're smart, they understand the issues and how they affect every single person in their district. The third member of the Tennessee Three, Representative Justin Jones, also spoke at Wednesday's Memphis rally. There is a movement rising up in Tennessee, from Memphis to Nashville to Knoxville, to send a message to these anti-democratic forces that you're in the find-out portion. You're in the find-out portion. That you shut off our microphones, and so we had to bring a megaphone. That you pushed our people to the back, so we had to walk up to the front of the well. And so we have a clear message that our brother Pierce is going to join us. We know I'm confident because I know that after crucifixion comes resurrection. Yay! And so when we walk in that chamber on tomorrow as representatives again, Yay! we must continue the demands that led us there in the first place. Yay! That a week after a mass shooting hit Nashville, rather than pass common sense gun laws, they passed a resolution to expel the two youngest black members in the General Assembly. Yay! And so we walk in there tomorrow with a clear message that we have a demand of Cameron Sexton to resign. Yeah. Yeah. Speaker Sexton represents an enemy to democracy, to multiracial democracy. He's trying to bring us back to a Tennessee in our past, the same Tennessee where the Klan was founded. But we say no longer will we sit by and be silent. It's time to rise up, not just as individuals. We didn't go up there as individuals, but we went up there representing the people of our district, the people of our state, the young people who can't even vote, the young people who said we need a voice, and that's why we walked up to that well. And so we hope that what happens today, that you come with Brother Pearson tomorrow to walk into those chambers. Because we're walking into hostile territory. 
places where people, where young black voices are not welcome and those who stand with us are not welcome. Oh. Right. And so we're not going to be able to, get, to survive that alone. We need to let them know that you are on notice and that the world is watching and that it's not stopped this week or tomorrow or next week, but something's changing in Tennessee. Yeah. Something's changing in our state that is going to restore democracy and get rid of these forces that are trying to take us backward. Yeah. After the Justins, Justin Jones and Justin Pearson, as well as Gloria Johnson, spoke outside the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, where Dr. King died of gun violence 55 years ago, they led a march to the Shelby County Board of Commissioners, ahead of a vote on the reappointment of Justin Pearson to the Tennessee House. This is Pearson addressing the county commissioners. So the message for all the people in Nashville who decided to expel us. You can't expel hope. You can't expel justice. You can't expel our voice. And you sure can't expel our fight. We look forward to continuing to fight, continuing to advocate, until justice rolls down like water. Like an ever flowing stream. Yeah. Let's get back to work. Yeah. After the Shelby County Board of Commissioners in Memphis unanimously voted to reappoint Justin Pearson to the Tennessee House, he spoke to supporters outside. The Shelby County Commission done their job. Yeah.
Justin Pearson speaking Wednesday in Memphis after the Shelby County Board of Commissioners voted to reinstate him to a seat in the Tennessee House of Representatives less than a week after he and Justin Jones were expelled for joining peaceful protests against gun violence after the Nashville school massacre. His swearing-in ceremony is taking place today in Nashville.